My name is Matthew Burnett. My name is Megan Simone Bowen. My name is Chelsea. Hey, my name is Mickey Vidamo. Uh, I'm a Gepik teacher here in Korea, and I've been here for a little over two years. Before I came to Korea, it was really daunting. All the things that you need to get. It's really scary and worried about missing something, and I really didn't know enough, I feel like. So I was constantly asking my recruiter, like, oh my god, can you answer this question? What about this question? I can't find the answer to this on the internet. I'm so sorry for bothering you. But she was really good about answering all my issues. And she was really great. Everybody at Corvia is really solid. I'll say life in Korea is very exciting. There's so many new people to meet, new places to go, new foods to try. And I love trying and experiencing new things. So it's very exciting for me. It's an adventure. As a newbie, I had no teaching experience whatsoever. But Korea was with me the whole time, placing me in a perfect school with perfect students in a perfect city. Teaching in Korea can definitely be helpful with uh, other careers after teaching or not in teaching or for whatever you want to do later on. Just in terms of networking and working with students and people of different ages, I think it's definitely useful in terms of developing those skills for whatever you want to do after teaching. The main one for me, I think, is just the schedule. We finish work at 4.40, so then I have the whole rest of the day to go go to home day, meet artists, or dance practicing, and random things like that. Uh, there's just so much time, and that's what the thing that I appreciate the most about uh, teaching in public schools. I think of the traits of a good teacher, ESL or otherwise, I think the, the number one trait is accepting mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. The ability to recognize the mistakes you make and improve on them, so maybe a lesson doesn't do well, you have 10 minutes before the next lesson, having a look at what went wrong and trying to improve that really helps. Once I decided I wanted to change schools, I knew a lot more about what I wanted in a position. When I first got over here, it was kind of like, give me a job, <laughs> please. But after, after being here for a while, I was like, I want to be in this area, I want these benefits, I want to have this kind of room with these kinds of materials. And Corvia, they listened to what I wanted and they treated me like a person. They really evaluated everything that I needed and helped me find a place that I was truly happy with. When I had a job change at my second school, the situation just wasn't ideal. But Corvia was with me the whole time. And within a few days, they called me up to make sure I was having a smooth transition. And when I told them what was going on, they were on top of the situation right away. To the point that my recruiter actually came to the school to help out and fix everything. And everything has been great at the school now, and I love it so much that I actually renewed a second year. Corvia has the largest database of positions. They've been around for a long time. They know what's going on. They know who would do well in what positions. So honestly, I really feel like Corvia is the best choice, hands down. I've enjoyed my time in Korea immensely. For me, it's been, without a doubt, the best five years of my life, and I recommend it to anyone. I've enjoyed my time in Korea so much. I enjoy meeting the new people and hearing about their stories and like different places that they came from, and that makes it really exciting. It's wonderful. I love it so much. I'm still here. Like I only expected to be here for one year, two years tops, and here I am going into a third, and I just can't stop. Like I can't leave. It's my home. I have definitely enjoyed my time here in Korea. Uh, I came here thinking I'll be here for one year. Now it's my third year, and I don't see it stopping. So I love Korea, and I love Korea.